Get the upper hand on your competition with scuff controllers. Use code OGXRACE to get 5% off your entire order. So yesterday I made a video talking about Modern Warfare 4 and essentially all of the information that we had confirmed by the Wu lads who have been an amazing source of leaks and information for a ton of different Call of Duties from World War II, the Black Ops 4, and now they're even adding stuff here for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Now in that video I talked about how the Wu lads had made a video confirming that information but I didn't mention it right at the end of their original video that the Wu lads did confirm that DLC 2 for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was in fact going to be a Nuketown Zombies remake. I had completely forgotten that they mentioned that at the end and strictly I wanted to make that video about Modern Warfare 4 so I decided to not post that information in that video and we have had a lot of rumors and leaks when it comes to DLC 2 and a lot of rumors and information regarding Nuketown Zombies being DLC 2 and being a remake of Nuketown Zombies. Now personally I've been talking about it for a little bit but I have voiced my opinion on the matter and it is that I really am not that excited for a Nuketown Zombies remake. And I'll tell you guys why. And this is just something I've been noticing and I wanted to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but it's the constant amount of remakes that we have been getting in Call of Duty in general, but in Black Ops 4 specifically. So I think remakes are awesome whenever you have a map that you haven't played in a long time. And whenever it's, if it was free, I probably would also be really excited. But, you know, one of the things that I like Call of Duty's DLC cycle for is that they usually give us new content. Now, more recently, we started getting remake of multiplayer maps as part of DLC packs which personally at first I was like yo that's pretty cool because I think Black Ops 3 did the exact same thing when they did a remake of Raid and so it's kind of cool when you see that but at the same time you always go into a new game expecting new content you don't expect remakes within a new game it would make no sense to do that so anytime we get cool remakes I'm like yo that is cool but I really wish that this had been free because we've had it before and even to the point of when Black Ops 4 came out we did get a ton of remakes as part of the map cycle. You know, we had Jungle, Summit was another remake, Slums was another remake, I'm blanking on the fourth one, there was another one. But we've already had four of these maps already before in the past. Not to mention that if you did pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on console, the digital version, you got to play those same maps in Black Ops 3 early. So I was a little bit bummed out because I was like, you know, some of those maps, four of them, are going to be remakes and also there's nuketown as well there was another there was that one and i think there was a, another one but the point being we we're getting a new game where i'd say a third of the maps maybe maybe a little bit less than a third but a big portion of it or a substantial portion of it was going to be a remake of previous maps that we had before don't get me wrong black ops 2 awesome map <laughs> i mean i had so much fun in that game but the thing was that those maps played because played so well because of the environment that they were in we didn't have specialists with some would say overpowered abilities and equipment in Black Ops 2. It was straight up boots on the ground, kill each other on maps. There wasn't like a ton of advanced movement. There wasn't thrust jumping, which is not in Black Ops 4, but you get what I mean. It didn't have all this advanced special over the top stuff. And I mean, rumors before Black Ops 4 came out were that it was essentially Overwatch or something like that. And it came to a certain degree, ended up being true because we did have stuff from Rainbow Six and Overwatch in this same thing. Uh, you know, the only thing was that the advanced movement probably was removed before the game came out. And so when the game came out, we had a new design system. We still had specialists with specialist abilities this time around, which is new. But, you know, that's something new that caters to a new style of map, that caters to a new complete different level design. And so the fact that they brought back those remastered maps into this game, it doesn't feel the same. Maps that I enjoyed in Black Ops 2 that I had so much fun on, I absolutely hate in Black Ops 4 because they play incredibly different and you're getting pinned down by way more. You've got specialist abilities, specialist powers and equipment that you're constantly running into. And especially on those maps that are kind of smaller maps, you kind of feel this rage that you're just kind of like, why am I mad? I love this map in Black Ops 2. And the reason is because it's playing on a completely new play style. So we had remakes of maps as part of the core offering for the game, which I was a little bit bummed out to hear. I mean, I was happy, but I also didn't want it to be dependent on that. I didn't want us to suddenly be like, well, there's so many maps, but it's like, yeah, but a ton of them were remakes, you know, and I, I don't want to be negative because I do enjoy Black Ops 4. 
The core experience to me has been a lot of fun. Blackout has been a lot of fun. Zombies has been fun, if not, not really that memorable in my opinion. But here we go. We continue on, we chug along, and we have yet another remake that is coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And this time, it's not even new content. It's something you're paying for. You're paying money to play a remake of a map that you played years ago. And, you know, I wanted to talk about that because I feel like that's a little bit messed up that we have a game and we're paying money to get new content. We're paying money for, and it said, for all new zombies experiences. And then it turns out that one of those quote unquote all new zombies experiences is a remake of zombies from the past. So. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, the game launched with two new maps. We had the Voyage of Despair, and then we also had nine, both completely new experiences. Sure, the storyline isn't really fully developed just yet, but they're new maps, new ways of playing. It was pretty cool. But then you also had a couple of remakes. You had five remake, and then you also had the Mob of the Dead remake. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy playing both of those, especially Blood of the Dead. I really, really like it, and I was really happy that we got that because it artificially inflated, in my opinion, the content you had right at launch, you know? It was like, you get two new stuff, and then you get a couple of remakes, which has new stuff in there, a new Easter egg, a new cutscene, new storyline info. It was pretty sweet. So I wasn't really that kind of, you know, felt bad. I was like, yo, that's pretty awesome. You know, we get four zombies maps at launch. And then we got DLC 1, which was different, and I enjoyed it. It probably would have been an even better map if it had the original crew and the original storyline, in my opinion and if they did a better job marketing it. So that was awesome. But then to hear that DLC 2 is going to be a remake of Nuketown Zombies is just kind of like, why? Why is it a part of the season pass when it's supposed to be completely new stuff? And from what we know in the leaks, for you guys that are unaware, it's going to be a remake of Nuketown Zombies with the complete underground bunker area, the, the actual up top part area with the houses is going to be expanded as well. So it's not just the two houses anymore. You can go to the you know neighbor's house or whatever. It's going to be expanded up top and then also in the bunker. And that seems awesome. I mean, Blood of the Dead was amazing. I very much enjoyed it. Going to old locations we had before was really cool. Seeing all the expanded areas was really cool. So I guess I'm being a bit of a hypocrite, but at the same time, that was something that was free that was added to the game. You know, that was a free map that you got essentially as part of the game. You know, it was part of the core package. You weren't paying extra for the Mob of the Dead remake. We're paying extra for the classified one, so that's a different story altogether. But you know, it was part of the core experience and then we go here and it's like well you're paying extra now and now you're getting a map that's a remake and it might be the most amazing remake in the world I'm probably gonna love the map maybe I mean I'm not I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that I really enjoy the map but it's going to be a remake with more areas an underground bunker area and the Ultimus crew and it seems exciting I mean it sounds fun but I can find myself getting that hyped up because it's yet another remake. We had a remake of multiplayer maps, we had remakes of zombies maps already, and now we're gonna get yet another one that isn't even its own separate thing you can buy. Yeah, you know, it's not just Zombie Chronicles 2, now it's like, hey, this remake's part of the main package that you paid for, the season pass, even though you're hoping for four completely new maps of new characters and and, you know, even if it's just the same characters, I love the Primus crew and the Ultimus crew, so I'd be excited for that anyways, but new locations, new story, I want that. I don't want a remake and a rehash of an old map, you know, sure expanded, sure slightly different, but at the same time, it's going back to the same location. And I mean, how crazy can the storyline get from there? And even if it does get kind of crazy, it's like there, there wasn't any forward progress in my opinion because it's not a new location. So I'm a little bit bummed out. And I mean, I'm still excited for DLC 2. It's going to be new content. It's going to be cool to see what they do with the map, but I'm not going to be as excited and as surprised or even maybe even motivated to play this map because it's the same location we had in the past, but expanded upon i just don't know how i feel about that i feel like it's a bad precedent to have to expect or to be or for it to become normal that part of your dlc life cycle and part of your entire experience that you're paying for 50 bucks if you are a black ops pass owner that part of it is going to be rehashes and remakes of old maps i mean what if dlc 4 is a remake of a different zombies map it's almost going to feel like there was no progress and you almost wasted your money on maps that were just remakes. And maybe that's just me, but I feel like there's a lot of other people out there who agree with me that this wasn't exactly the best execution or idea. I'm not against the idea of a Zombies remake or multiple. I'm not against the idea of Zombies Chronicles 2, but I want that to be a separate thing. I want that to be part of a, you know, separate pack maybe that you pay 15 bucks for. I don't care, but I don't want it to be a part of the main content that we're getting because it's supposed to be all new, at least for this year. At least for the year that black ops 4 is out at least make that new stuff and then you know the following year 
maybe Modern Warfare 4 bombs and you need to get more money, you know, that would be the perfect time to go like, yo, here's remakes of this map and this map. Buy them separately or as a pack. And that's just my own personal opinion. And I wanted to talk about it because I feel like Zombies has been in a very horrible state lately. Not so much because the maps are boring or bad or maybe maybe uninteresting i'll say that but it's because it's the same thing over and over again there's no content that people feel they're actually getting we're getting gauntlet mode here soon which seems like it's going to be fun but a lot of the people who have been supporting zombies for years and years are starting to drift away and are starting to realize that zombies isn't this amazing thing that was on this pedestal and you know this godlike thing they're starting to kind of realize that it's coming right back down to earth and they can't solely depend on zombies anymore and i guess the same thing can be said about solely depending on call of duty it might be time to start expanding your horizons and trying to prepare for a future without call of duty and without a ton of remakes <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I wanted to talk about this because we got some DLC 2 confirmation here from the Wooleds. They never confirmed it. They just kind of kept being vague about it. And we finally got 100% confirmed information that DLC 2 will be a Nuketown Zombies remake. And I wanted to talk about my thoughts and opinions on it. I'm a pretty positive person. I'm really, really excited for it. But at the same time, I'm a realist. And I know that I need to be honest with myself. And even though I probably am going to love and enjoy this map, it's not going to be the same feeling of feeling satisfied i think is what it is with what we got so anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did drop a like and a favorite on the video guys it's super super appreciated and incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty black ops 4 news info rumors commentaries and more coming so make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on and if you want to support the channel directly you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content exclusive videos and special badges that show up in all my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos so check that out only if you are willing and able to and if you want to talk about anything this or stuff in the future or just want to see what i'm up to twitter is the best place to do so go ahead and give me a follow over there i'll have a link down in the description below and i'll also have links to my gaming and second channel you guys have an awesome day take care i'm out peace